Ah, I'm having a tough time. I had to get rid of my car. It was a good car, it just talked too much. It's one of those cars that talked. Fell into that brief envelope of car manufacturing history where it made cars talk in 84 New Yorker. People didn't like it though, they found it condescending and he did sound like the butler from Batman. So I called him Alfred. He's like, your door is ajar. Your fuel is low. No, really. Your fuel is low. Hey, Dick. Feel like walking? I was worried about Albert. Those I'm driving around, he's going, your date is ugly. Shut up, Alfred. Your friends are using you. Shut the fuck up. I was always gonna pipe up at the wrong time. Some cop pulls me over. You been drinking tonight? No. Yes, he has. <laughs> I've been in four clubs in the last three hours. I've been parked illegally twice. I need gas. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Sorry. I like to make fun of the mentally ill. <laughs> It's not nice, but fuck it. I mean, what's with schizophrenics? Why can't they pick imaginary friends they can get along with? You never see them walking down the street going, you're right, I never really thought about that. Thanks, I just got it. And I don't know what to do with panhandlers, because I'm looking at them going, look, if I give you money, you're just gonna spend it on drugs, and alcohol, and that's what I need it for. <laughs> Let's try this guy. He's been on government assistance for 14 years because he's mentally ill. I said, what's the problem? You're not drooling or anything. He says, well, I hear voices. Ooh. Are these mean, nasty voices telling you to hurt yourself or other people's? Oh no, they're calm, soothing voices. If I see a pretty girl, they go, that's a pretty girl. Those aren't voices, that's thinking. <laughs> Jeez, I should really do my laundry. Ah, the voices! <laughs> Gotta call my agent. When will they stop? <laughs> He's on government assistance. I'm driving around arguing with my car. <laughs> your fuel is low. No, your fuel is low. <laughs> if you ran on marijuana like the rest of us, we'd be fine. Your washer fluid as well. We live in a rainforest. There's a squeegee kit on every corner. Your windshield is cleaner than my ass. I don't need a car that talks. I need one that listens. Sorry. Not so much a comedy show, it's a cry for help, really. The counseling didn't work out for me. When your shrink says, I've never heard of that, that's a bad sign. Oh, well. Ooh.